Welcome to part four on how to assemble the Maker Gear M2. Now we're going to wire all the electronics and get you ready to print. First, let's start at the bottom. All your wires are coming out of the back of your electronics box. You have to stick down these sticky no uh, pads that will allow you to then pass uh, zip ties through it to secure your wires. First, take the three wires for the X, uh, the X limit switch, the Z limit switch, the heated bed, the Y limit switch, the Y motor, and the Z motor, and zip tie them to the first sticky pad. After you've done that, continue to the second, the second Z pad and zip tie those three again. After you've zip tied those three, take the wire for the Z motor and route it to the motor. Plug it in with the blue cord, the blue cable in the mount facing to the back. Then zip tie the cord to the sticky pad. Next, route the wires up the inside of the machine and stick them to the sticky pads and zip tie it to the, the sticky pad. Only the wire for the Z limit switch and the X limit switch. I'll be right back when I have zip tied it. Now that you've attached the zip ties going up the inside of the machine, it's time to mount your Z-limit switch. The Z-limit switch attaches to this plastic piece with the red LED. It slides behind the back smooth rod and will clamp into place with the second plastic piece using a M3 by 12 bolt, two of them. Take the top plastic piece, slide it over the rod, and put your bolts through it. The nut's are already in the back of the other piece, so just screw it in, and that's all you have to do. When screwing this down, try to get the limit switch as close as you can to the top of the smooth rod. Oh. Oh, really? and tight. You don't want this to move, so make sure it's nice and snug. Next, we're going to mount the, Z, the X limit switch. The X limit switch mounts right on the top of the machine with the non-printed side facing up. You're going to use two M2.5 by 12 bolts to slide it into the top. The holes are tapped so you won't need any nuts. Slide those in and tighten. Now that you've mounted your X limit switch, it's time to put on the cover for the cables. The, ca the cover has a slot in the back and this cable will be guided along it. Slide it on and secure it with two M3 by eight bolts. The holes are already tapped, so you won't need any nuts. After you've mounted the guide for your cable cords for the X axis, it's time to mount the cables for the high heated build plate and the Z and the Y motor and the limit switch. To do this, you're going to want three zip ties together. You're going to put it around the Y motor and zip tie them all into place. The heated build cord and the Y motor cord. It might help if you have a friend to help you for this stuff. After you've done that, attach the Y cord with the blue 
wire facing you. And then attach the Y limit switch with two M2.5 by 12 screws as before. Into the holes at the end of the carriage. After you've tightened that down, you can take your heated build platform and set it into the four rubber guides you assembled earlier. Next we're going to mount the cables for the X and for the filament drive. The cables for the X motor and the filament drive come out the side and come up the side here. You're going to want zip ties in these holes to help secure the cables on the way up. At this point, you can plug in the cord for the X motor with the blue facing to the left, to the right. Next, attach the, the zip tie through the top hole and around only the cable for the extruder motor. Next, this cord is going to come around and only the four ends, the four connectors for the fan and the heater for the extruder are going to rest in this slot on top. Take the cover for the slot and place it on top. Next, zip tie it in place. By passing the zip tie through the bottom two holes, across, and through the top two holes. I'm going to do that for all three zip ties and I'll be right back. Now that you've zip tied the cover in place, you can connect the, mo the extruder motor with the blue cable facing to the right. After you've done that, it's time to mount the fans and the extruder. Fan zero is the large fan. Fan one is the small fan. The green, co er, the green cord goes to heat. And the clear cord goes to EXT. Next, we're going to plug in the power supplies. The power supplies sit into the back of the machine. There are two power supplies, one with two pins and one with four. The one with two pins will sit on the left, on the right, and the one with four pins will sit on the left. They just slide right into place. Next, you can take your glass or silicate glass sheet, place it on top of the build surface, and clamp it down with the four included binder clips. Last but not least is attaching the spool holder. The spool holder goes right here on the side using four M4 by eight bolts. Make sure the lip of the spool holder is on top. The M4 by eight bolts do not need any nuts as the holes in the machine are tapped. Just screw them in and make them nice and snug. I'll be back once I have those completed. Now that you have attached the spool holder, your build is complete. Thank you for watching our assembly videos for the Maker Gear M2. We hope you have enjoyed them. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.